when your hut's on fire, the only survivor of a shipwreck was washed up on a small uninhabited island, he prayed feverishly for God to rescue him. Every day he scanned the horizon for help, but none seemed forthcoming. Exhausted, he eventually managed to build a little hut out of driftwood to protect himself from, from the elements, and to store his few possessions. One day, after scavenging for food, he arrived home to find his little hut in flames, with smoke rolling up into the sky. He felt the worst had happened, and everything was lost. He was stunned with disbelief, grief, and anger. He cried out, God! How could you do this to me? Early the next day, he was awakened by the sound of a ship approaching the island. It had come to rescue him. How did you know I was here? asked the weary man of his rescuers. We saw your smoke signal they replied. The, the moral of this story? It's easy to get discouraged when things aren't going well, but we shouldn't lose heart, because God is at work in our lives, even in the midst of our pain and suffering. Remember that the next time your little hut seems to be burning to the ground. It may be your opportunity to pray that it is a smoke signal that summons the grace of God. I will go peaceably, and firmly to the Catholic Church, for if faith is so important to our salvation, I will seek it where true faith first began, seek it among those who received it from God himself. Words of Wisdom from St. Elizabeth and Seton